Maybe going inside a human's house wasn't such a good idea. I want to eat! I want food! Food is what you'll get, hamster. Enough food to fill a bear cave, hopefully. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Oh, look at the light! We need to get through the next three yards. Everyone knows your roles, right? Heather and I run along the front of the houses and come in through the basement window. At the first sign of trouble, we... We resist the urge to faint so we can warn everyone, right? Oh, right. Lou, Penny, you'll meet us at the house? Just me. Penny will stay home with the little ones. Oh, jeepers. I don't want you by yourself in a human house there. But we do this together. Hamilton? Where'd it go, huh? You and Stella meet us at the hole in the fence in the third yard, right? Right. Third yard, yep. Three comes after six, right? <laughs> Stella? Help Hammy count to three. Got it. And Vern and I will navigate the three yards full of the most devious human traps imaginable, sticking to the shadows like creatures of the night, sneaking past incredible dangers, and... Sometime before the sun comes up would be good. Right. Everyone ready? Good luck, everyone, and be careful! Wow. I have to say, this doesn't look so bad. Great. Let's move out. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why, breathe? That too, but I meant stepping into the light. Looks like some kind of amphibian. Wouldn't a turtle be less cliché? Let's find ourselves a frog then. How hot could it be? Mm. Oh, look! We've been expected! Who's up for a snack? Uh, them, I predict. What gives, Chief? Who died and made you king of the picnic tables? Poultry alert! Fan out! I love them! Well, hello there! Think you just waltzing through this gate? Like a couple of gate waltzers? You both have a lot to learn about birds, don't ya? Don't ya? You don't want a piece of me, Tweety. Seriously. You wouldn't want to see my friend here bluster and fume, would you? Look, people! I don't make the rules! You want into the next yard, you need my help. Sorry, guys. City ordinance! We're all slaves to bureaucracy. That's what separates us from the humans. Uh, yeah. Very thought-provoking. Thank you. What do we have to do to get past? I got the key for the gate hidden in one of those objects. Break them until you find it. Oh, we get to break stuff? Why didn't you say so?
this fuss over us? I just don't get human priorities. It's the sniffer. The cranky one's paying to deal with us. Although not that well based on the quality of these trap designs. What's he think we are, insects? Now come on, and stay low. Ready, Stella? Yeah, but this better be one stupid cat. Boy, this kind of makes me want to get a log with a higher roof. And carpet. Amen. Now let's disable the trap so we can admire all this without that whole fear of death thing. Ah, just what the disarmament doctor ordered. Dizzy just looking at this thing. I'll handle this. Hammy? Where's my cookie? You just said cookie, right? Uh, either way, where is it? There's plenty of cookies in it for you, Hammy. All you have to do is just follow the bouncing light and push the buttons, and cookies will rain down from the heavens like... Birthday cakes? Wedding cakes! But only if you hop to it. Guys, we only have a few minutes until the humans wake up. So whatever we're doing, can we do it a few minutes faster? Heather's right. Penny and Lou, you take the front door. Hammy and Stella, you've got the hallway. Vern, me and you will cover the kitchen. Buenos dias, reptile. Or should I say, buenos noches. Almost there. What the? Oh, good. Uh, there you are. I was just on my way to kill you. Well, well. I'm impressed. You really outdid yourself this time. Keep this up and you're gonna be just like me. Take what you need. Who cares about anyone else? Well, I guess when you put it like that... Wow, doing the right things never felt so dumb! Whee! That was fun! Go tell our driver to do it again. Don't just stand there. Help me bust everybody out of these things. Then just stand there, and don't touch nothing. Look out below! Why did you hit me? What just happened? Just happened. Here comes 
you. That's what you get trying to hit on me. What the hell? Cookies and the cookie bluff me. You want something? Y'all made a mistake. Ow. horrid creatures ever again. You! Sam! Us! Hedge, now! Hobbit, hobbit, let's go! Yay! Hurry! Ugh. Kia! Run, run! Come on, hurry! Once again, we're home sweet. Dead. Cattle by the three o'clock. This is not a drill. Well, doesn't this human ever give up? Uh, let me rephrase that. I give up. Come on, Vern. Are you a turtle or a mouse? still mad about losing all your food, are you? <laughs> you sure look mad chasing us back there. Hey, wait, Vincent. I can explain. Better yet. No choice. Run for it. Whoa. This will only hurt for a few seconds. That's not a cheery headline, but where'd RJ Skep off to now? Conductor friend of the propane tanks might have made all the difference. You're fired. What you did back there, that was really brave. And stupid. I, I can't exactly say I was wrong about you, RJ, but thanks for making me a, a little wrong towards the end, at least. I'm just glad everything turned out. 
And don't worry, next time will be way easier. I got it all figured out. Next time. Haha, <laughs> pretty sweet take this time, Vern. I knew it was touch and go for a while, but today's haul puts us over the edge. RJ, I know we got off to a rocky start, but I guess meeting you was a real stroke of luck after all. <gasps> what the? Somebody needs to clean up around here. <gasps> the food! Our television! It's broken! Who would steal our food? Maybe the rats. Um, this for sure wasn't rats. Now what? Wait, wait, sorry. I zoned out. Define the television's broken. Ah, looks nice and peaceful. Maybe it'd smell more lifelike if I sprayed every square inch. I knew things were going too well. He's making rats do his dirty work with those caps. Why didn't I think of that? You ain't catching me wearing one of those. Uh, guys, was that you? Animals! Come out and play! Oh, it's just an SUV. For a minute there, I was worried. Hey, this reminds me. I've been thinking we should start a band. Feel free to resume gnawing and spreading pestilence immediately. Yeah, I've heard all the world's a stage, but this is ridiculous. Well, I'm no stranger to not wanting to be seen. Thanks for rubbing it in. Jeepers, it's the little ones. They ran off to go look for the television. Then I saw that human, the sniffer. Oh, I knew I should have said the TV was a figment of their imagination all along. Oh, gosh, I'm a terrible mother. Oh, Penny, it's not your fault. We'll find them, skunks on her. What you have up your sleeve involving that hydrant? What's it look like, making a shortcut? <laughs>
Heather was just. No one but me hassles my friends. Get on your feet for now! Don't worry, people. It's all part of the act. I'm fine. Feel free to lend a hand. My performance was the distraction. For a minute there, it even distracted me. Hmm. On that note, less yapping and more TV finding. Heather went this way. Follow me. Jeez, what kept you guys? The TV's in a house near the end of the street. I'll meet you there. Hello. That looks inviting. What else is new?
Closer, I'll... We gotta help her. She can't play dead for that long. You know you're not ready for the big leagues yet. You've barely even mastered feigning unconsciousness. Dad, get real. I'm better and you can't handle it. Just like Mom always says. We'll discuss this at the log, young lady. Oh boy. Let's just grab the tube while the Issues household thrashes this out. of feng shui, but I don't see our TV set. This is what humans call a film projector. It makes stuff look way huger than it really is, but by using optical science instead of marketing. Pick it up and carry it outside. I'll show you. We're all meeting at the end of the street. See you there. All this for just a little box? Was it worth it? Dad. The danger, the risk, the travel time. Dad. Don't interrupt me, young lady. All of us could have been captured, bored, or worse. Dad, it shows football. Real big. Like as big as a tree. That has no bearing on, um, are we talking sycamore or sequoia? It's not going to show anything until we get it home. Come on. Sounds just like... Hey! Get your reptile! Over here! No! First just a patsy! It's me you want! Yeah! Go after him! Whoa! See? We 
drove him off. He's coming back. And that's our cue to get this show on the road. All right, gather around. This is us here, this here is me, and this line here represents the stick I'm holding. Vern, if I may? Little thing called the 21st century. Look it up sometime, Pops. Reptile. I can't help that. Now then. Voila! That's French for our goal, the Martin residence. Now, the good news is, there's no catch at all this time. Bad news is, there is one catch, actually. We have to avoid the streets at all costs. Hey, um, excuse me, Monsieur, but we were just in the streets last night. Remember? I do remember, Vern. I'm sure we all do. Thus, the new street avoidance part of the plan. Now, let's focus. We'll come from the hedge here and creep unsuspectingly down over into this yard. Find a way past the gate, hereabouts, and out toward the street through that iron gate. Um, didn't you just say going in the street was what we didn't want? Vern, where does it say you can't avoid something by going toward it and crossing it? The dictionary? Never heard of it. Then we head through these two yards, maybe hop a ride to our destination. Hop a ride? What ride? I want a ride. Shh! Don't spoil the surprise, Hamilton. Even I don't know what I'm talking about. We all set? Let's hit the road! Lasers! Terrific! Not just lasers, brain teasers. We need to find a way to open this gate. Perhaps this inscribed frog here is a cunningly placed clue. Merely work your way past the deadly laser grid in the next yard and disarm the trap so the rest of us can join you. Good luck, and above all, don't die. <laughs> hey, a gopher! That's it, we'll tunnel under. No, better stick with plan A. Ha, <laughs> 
was he? It's that human in the van again. Finally, some good news. We need to find another way across that street. Any excuse to wriggle down that fire hydrant again? Oh, well, no one stays dry forever. It's just an old wives' tale. <laughs> They can jump. Intense. like the right way. We well, got your little surprise up there on the roof of that small building then. Real humdinger too. I'd wager both my jeepers on it, yeah. 
get yourself some fuel, and you're all set then. Say no more! I want to be surprised! Spike, put your brother down right now. Sorry, gotta go. Kids. got for you. In the end, they all come to the Blue Jay. Get this thing to the loot circle after this place is a bit more go for free, would ya? I got what you might call hollow bones. of surprise department? Vern, Vern, it's our landing that's gotta be covert. Nice landing. Great, lasers. Humans are crazy. How do they walk around their own houses with all these traps? Well, I can see where they're coming from. I guess what doesn't slice through you like melted butter makes you stronger.
Look, I'm so strong! The humans! They'll be home any minute! Must broadcast the evacuation order. Speakerphone! Where is the speakerphone? How do you- Move it! That'll work. I'll drop the food, you catch it and toss it in the wagon before we run out of time. Or if we do run out of time, start all over. It'll buy us time. Look out below! <laughs> catch! Anyone? Catch! Anyone? Bon appetit! Oh. Catch! Anyone? Ready or not, here it comes! <laughs> catch! Don't want to carry it. Don't want to carry it. Look out below. <laughs> Someone Catch. order something with a side Anyone? order. Please not. Want to carry Here it comes. Look out below. <laughs> Don't want to carry it. Catch. Anyone? Catch. Anyone? Bon appetit. Someone order something with a side it. order of this. Someone order something with a side order of this. Ready or not, here it comes. Oh, I don't want to carry it. Right. Ozzy, you put your back into it while we cover you. Look out? For what? Uh, look out! So, just to recap, the guy in the van who hates animals isn't on our side. Wow! It's him, the sniffer. Ozzy, he can't see us. He'd have to have eyes like a set of high-powered binoculars with isometric infra lenses. Ozzy, look out! After la vista, Berman. Expect me when you least expect me, and not one second later, or I'll work for half off and not one dollar more. I don't buy it, or understand it. I think he wants us to leave. He's just too shy to say it. Psst, over here. How did he get over there so fast? Possums can teleport. I saw it on late night TV. Daddy, not 
Alright, Ozzy, have nice fake right dreams. Now. Well, now that's not how many times in a row your teacher said you tripped and fell into the classroom aquarium. Oh, Jimmy, you have to learn to pay attention in class. Uh, you won't get anywhere in life if you can't learn to pay attention and look at... skip off to now over here rats rats everywhere and not a drop to drink Exhaustion! Question.
Ah, I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like... Cheese puffs! <laughs> yeah. Not to burst everybody's bubble. You? But does barely getting away with our lives count as a victory? Hey, getting away with a wagon load of cheese puffs? Where I come from, that's a TKO. Okay, guys, this couldn't be any simpler. We hit the shooting gallery, grab the popcorn machine, in and out, two minutes tops. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa! See, that wasn't so hard. Y'all set for the next step of Operation Disembark. It's all I can think about. What do you mean, though? Just stopping the train and getting off at the shooting gallery ring any bells. Oh, I get it. You want to speed up the train, only the opposite. But how? I guess we could just ask the conductor, but I had a better idea. Sounds to me like the best thinking ever.
whatever that thing you're holding does. Hey, peanut gallery, my tail's facing you, just FYI. Stop. Animals, dear. Targets. Just shoot at them. Ah! Oh, jeepers. You have to get up those platforms there. There's nowhere to go but up, yeah? Yeah. I guess the view will be better just before I fall. 
Now it's a real clear shot then, all the way to the end. Just watch out for the targets and it'll be smooth sailing. Being the token skunk ain't what it used to be.
See how much fun we have with the raccoon in charge? This is my park, and you're my dinner. Avoid being eaten. Whoa, whoa. That'll teach you not to run fast enough from a Rottweiler! Seducing the cat. Now, where's this popcorn machine? I thought popcorn was mostly air. Put your shell into it, Vern. Is that a fat joke? All right, gang. Here's the 411. The Backstreet Boys. Uh, old screensaver. It was on there when I got it. <laughs> you just got this phone. Great, let's go over the plan. We, i.e. us, come out of the hedge into this yard. From there, we head up to these so-called deadly high-voltage power lines. You're out of your mind. It's perfectly safe. Hammy runs along power lines all the time, don't you, champ? <laughs> that blue sparkly stuff tickles my toes and makes my eyes smoke. You're right. These meetings are really helpful. Power lines lead us right to this attic window, as if by divine providence. We go through the attic, then cross through this yard. Bingo! We're at the Smith's back door, dead or alive. It's as easy as pie, but without the hassle of burning the crust. Just the image I needed. Burn. a wise raccoon once said that none of us can truly appreciate life until we try extra hard to lose it. I'd tell you what happened to him, but it's a sad story. Okay, we ready? Let's go! Wow, it's like the best party ever, only the theme is mayhem. I haven't seen this much pink since that one time I got stuck inside my tongue. Look, a castle even. That's something humans usually make out of rocks to keep other humans from stealing their food. First, we get to try and make it to that house without dying, and then across those wires without dying. Uh, sorry, did you just say wires? As in the thin, cable-y things that electrocute and such? Don't worry, we still need to figure out a way across that bridge first.
I see scars. <laughs> with the hitting next time. Hey, Heather, we're in a human attic. Jealous much? Cell phone sensors are picking up some kind of barrier. Signal locked. Okay, guys, look for this. It's your way out. I get to carry something heavy. Woohoo! Ready or not, here we go!
what I'm talking about. Ow! Don't want to carry it. Let's do something else. And once again, we're Ollie Ollie and. I can almost hear our fur sizzling. Incoming! Hey guys, sorry to interrupt again, but I need to tell you something really, really important. Whatever you do before you leave the attic... Yeah, I'm hanging on every other word. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, scratch that. It's really, really important that you all remain extra, extra careful with your weapons once you're in the yard. We don't need a reason, but, um, why? Wow, that is cool. Thanks!
can I, can I help? <laughs> hey, look, I'm so strong! <laughs> Let's scope the place for traps, and then signal the rest to come in. Traps aren't evil. It's the metal used to make traps that's evil. Sorry to interrupt everyone, but I'm afraid I'm the bearer of grim news. What I'm about to say you may find disturbing, if not outright quasi... We found something neat too, Ozzy! An electrical floor! Now what were you saying? Oh, well, never mind then. Hooray for Ozzy's talking! that second switch to keep this party going? You have to admit, we're getting a lot of switches flipped. That's some fragrance there. It's like burning tires, only lemony. It's coming from that little guy right there. Oh, the smell of fake trees. Oh, uh, yeah. Wouldn't real trees be less hassle? Maybe because cans are easier to water and prune. How come you think they use so much, though? I'll give you three guesses, beginning with rats. Thank <laughs> you. 
one, to the basement, quick! Look, a badger! Oh, he just wants to badge us, isn't that right, little guy? Best guess, in a few minutes, picking raccoon fur out of his teeth. Look at all that food, then. Oh. Then we stole every crumb, fair and square. Hey, Lou, you up there? You betcha, hon. Come help load up the wagon there. All righty, then. Now, Lou will fill you in on what he wants. I'll go up and give him a hand while you fill her up. Sound good? Ah, uh, super, then. show up and cut off all our jeepers. Here you go. <sighs> Isn't this a little exposed? As long as we're careful. Hey, look at that! What? Nice try. I heard that. <gasps> Whoa. This is so much worse than a bear. Yep, worse than a bear. See how fun adventure is? Now, let's get back to the hedge and enjoy life.
monstrosity off. I can barely even hear my beautiful garbage disposal. Hey, look, the humans gave us a new toy. Remind me to send them all a thank you note. Never mind that. Run, run before we smell as summery as the delicious grass juice spewing out the back. He's got him right where he wants him. Let's follow his example. There you go. There you go. Yay! Simulated exhaustion! Get up! Just play dead on your feet for now! Pretending to get his beauty sleep, he'll never look for ten better. And that oncoming engine of doom is my cue to exit stage this way. Thanks, Ozzy. We'll distract the sniffer while he gets away clean and keeps all the food for himself. I just had the most incredible dream. I was playing dead so well. <sighs> Nothing beats being recognized by your peers. We like you, we really like you. Now just stay put, we'll be right there. Ozzy, wake up! It'll be time for playing dead when the world ends!
job. You have been raccoon. You have nice big dreams. like gophers. Really? How many does it sound like, roughly? I'm positive, no more than two or three. See, it's only one, you silly fuss budgets. folks there. Trust me, you don't even want to know. Anyone got a lawnmower? What for? Me? All right, brothers and sisters, I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, simple as taking a satellite dish from a bear's cave. No. Well, the time has come. Only instead of simple, it'll probably be extremely complicated and cost many lives. Oh, so, let's get started. We'll start in the caves at the bottom of the cliff. No climbing. I like it already. Glad you approve. Eventually, we'll come to an underground river. We follow this nice, swooping curve of scenic, high-resolution underground caverns right underneath Vincent the Bear's old den. Um, hi. Quick question. He's not there, right? The hungry, angry bear who hates us? Burn, please. Do you honestly think I'd recklessly endanger our lives with some harebrained scheme? I scouted it out just the other day. It was cold and cobwebby. Desolate. Uh, which day was this again? I told you. The other one. Now we'll come back about halfway up the mountain. The bear we're not supposed to feed. Burn. I scouted it. Or meant to. Whatever. Now, if I can continue. From here, we just head up the mountain to the den, grab the satellite dish, then head back. How exactly we planning on carting some big giant dish all the way down that mountain? Worry, worry. That's all you worry warts do. Onward! Reptile! Amphibian! 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 Hey, easy on that. I'm all for advertising our presence to Vincent, but not till I have a pie in my hand. Well, as long as Vincent isn't eating us just this second, we should be fine, right?
Armadillo! He's a fellow shell enjoyer.
Bears and Raccoons. Uh. Um, did Vincent shrink? Or are we in the cave growing? This is his brother, maybe? <clears throat> Hi, we're friends of Vincent's? Friends? Not quite the word I'd use. Hey, he invited me over for dinner once. Yeah, you mean as dinner. Uh. Bear in the cave! Long range, I'll take the ones up close. I have the shell after all.
chilly out? Or is it just me? Come on, we need to find some way through the mountain. Mountains are mostly hollow, right? Hello? Well, the place didn't cave in just now. I call that a plus. Yeah, you might want to keep it down. I think we're right under the bear's lair. Just a thought. And the satellite dish, don't forget. We're not just common food thieves, you know. We're classier than that. Oh, good point. I'd much rather get eaten over one of those. Is that a chip at your toenails? Or are you just happy to see me? Uh, I predict a strong chance of showers in the weather. Crunchy, salty chip showers. Get ready to run!
We gotta get to Vincent's den before this whole place comes down on us. Time only flows forward. Our luck's held out so far, so it stands to reason that Vincent can't be anywhere in the vicinity. In other words, Vincent's gone and never coming back. I'd bet my reputation on it. I'll even bet you a raccoon. One in particular. I couldn't have put it more succinctly. That's how bushed I feel. Watch your step. I'm no geologist, but this place looks a little on the crushy, agonizing side. This is Bear Speak for Please Come Visit Me. The important thing is that he's not here. Let's look on the bright side. We have no choice. Be almost there. My stomach's growling like that bear I smell. Yeah, it must be getting close. Death, the way out, one or the other. I'm pretty sure installing the satellite dish is way less hassle than this. Hey, this doesn't look half bad. We should get some stalactites for the log, but no stalagmites. I'm allergic. Why do I get the feeling that door's locked and no one here remembered to pack a crowbar? We'll probably find some keys along the way, near the endless drops. Looks like someone up there really likes us. Great, let's go. No time like the present to risk the future.
it'll just be right around this corner up. Boulder, dash to the side! I told you Vincent wasn't here. Look, everybody, it's Vincent. Grr, must eat annoying raccoon. Let's compromise. Eat this rock. Run right away. Ah! Ah! Vincent. I know this looks bad, but for whatever it's worth, my shell might break your teeth. I think that's bear for run, idiots! What's the last thing you remember? That human with all the traps shooting me with a drag dart. And you, destroying all my stuff. Twice. Uh, let's get back to the first last thing you remember. You were brainwashed into wanting to attack us thanks to this! Well, actually, I still want to attack you. But not as much, right? Look, Vincent, we have a common enemy. RJ? The other common enemy. Remember the big human who shaved you in that contraption? Yeah. I'd like a bite of that human to give him something to remember. I'm in. Bears are so easy. Okay, gang. This ought to be a cinch. Wow, we've crashed a plane and a train so far. Why not a boat this time? Oh, oh, oh! Arr, matey! Who's next? Who's next? Can we let the raccoon finish, please? Thank you, Stella. Now. Our destination is this house. The Connors will enter through the back door. Huh, subtle. What's the occasion? Thanks. So, crossing the yard without dying or anything along those lines? Should be simple. Every time should be simple. It's, what are we at now? 0 for 9? <sighs> 9. We come out of the hedge here and head toward the street. This sounds familiar. Relax, Vern. We won't go into the street this time. I got a system. We'll take the sewers. The sewers is a system? You, you don't know what words mean, huh? Yay! Sewers! Then we can smell like Stella! What did you say? Something, something, yay! We'll make a sharp U through the sewers and come out right by the Connor's back door. Start to finish in no time. Everyone's got it? Uh, no, I... Uh... What about the... My little toy submarine ran out of baking soda last year. Great! Let's get this show on the road! It's so peaceful here. So innocent. I just hope I get to spray something in the eye soon. 
Hold on. Deep breaths, bro. Tell us what's up. He was just here, the sniffer. He set that statue down and then chased Penny's children into the front yard. It was all I could do to wait here and play dead till you arrived. Well, nobody said stealing from humans would be a cakewalk. Don't worry, jump. Hey, that was a close one. I mean, one million. Now that's over. Let's take a minute to... Terrific. You want a piece of this? That ought to do the trick, or should I say, the laser. Well, 
well, well. One, two, three of you little critters. And your dad, looks like. This is what we in the vermin taunting business call hitting the jackpot. Don't worry, kids. Everything's under real good control there. Dad, I'm scared. Hey, follow me. Let's get him out of there. Pretty inviting. Where are we headed now? Down here, where it's safe. Safe? I ain't getting in that stinky crawl space. What do I look like? <laughs> Don't fret, Vermin. Once I get you back to Vermtech, we'll fit you with nice little cabs and you'll be nice, soulless, atomic. Hold the phone, they're gone. Uh, it's sewers or the sniffer. Your call.
Can't be much further. To what? I have no idea. But come on! At least he's not a gopher. But what's that he's holding? Who knows? But I have a feeling it was meant for us. Yeah, that's for our benefit.
Hey, thanks for the cage breakage. I would have done it myself, but I get these really bad apathy attacks. Oh, please. It was nothing. Literally. Say, dog, y'all got any idea how we can get into that house over yonder? We locked ourselves out. Can I? <laughs> can I? What are you, a mockingbird? I can do more than tell you. I can show you. Watch and learn the Tao of Human Architectural Entry Tactics. Step one, find an open window. When in doubt, ask the Blue Jay. Now we know. To teach <laughs> is to learn. <laughs> All we have to do is find the... Hey, put a sock in it. All right, all we gotta do is get to that switch without waking up those chihuahuas. Couldn't be any simpler. When it comes to sneaking across living rooms, a skunk's one of your top four best bets. Did you happen to see those real cute little dog fellas there? Odd oh, jeepers. I just wanted to zip them up in my pouch, take them home with us, and have them bronzed. They kind of leaned more towards unholy, to be perfectly honest. You get the food for the wagon there all squared away then, hon? Yeah, yeah, just hip us to what you need and we'll toss it out. Guys, you might want to hurry. Those two sweet little nightmares just scuttled upstairs and it sounds like they're yipping to wake the dead. show up and cut off all our jeepers. Oh, hurry it up there before the humans show up and cut off all our jeepers. show up and cut off all our jeepers.
You're just in time. I have an urgent announcement to make. There are a couple of loose chihuahuas running around. We'll handle the dogs, Oz. You just get this wagon to warp speed. like this. Play alive for once and I'll be impressed. Butt up and help us, Ozzy. Why play dead when you can get the possum for free? I suppose you know any animals that yip like that except chihuahuas? I'm just glad Ozzy has to worry about the... Hey, where'd Ozzy go? Ozzy, get out the way! Ozzy, no! Your concern was touching, but unwarranted. Human diesel technology is no match for the instincts of a possum, and won't be for many decades. Do you happen to have any instincts that might help us lose less food next time you do a speeding truck? Ow! I just had a great idea! Oh wait, never mind, it was just some chips hitting me in the head. I guess we can start recollecting it all. Should only take a few of your lifetimes and half of mine. Ozzy! Why don't y'all scoot this wagon over yonder and we'll handle the food transport for now, okay? And Ozzy, maybe give trucks the right of way for the rest of the day. Know what I mean? You know the drill, chump. Find the food for me and I'll come pick it up. It's called symbiosis, or busy work depending on your age range. Now that's what I call a motivational speech. That's what I call get moving! Yeah, you know I was gonna do that. 
chips, y'all. Let's make like a wagon load of food and get out of here. Three of those bags of chips are mine, FYI. You don't say. Flying food around works up an appetite. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Why? Oh, right! You can't fly! Now let's mosey before the price goes up! Cheapers, we've been worried sick! Look! <laughs> oh, he's just like a giant teddy bear with anger issues and half eaten bats on his breath. Look, we gotta hit the amusement park while it's closed. Amusement park? Again? Or what? A cotton candy machine, Stella. Now come on and get your stink shot loaded. Cotton candy, Stella. Seduce a cat, Stella. Excuse me for always missing the obvious. Fred! Where the heck are ya? Get over here right now so I can fire you! I was thirsty. First, animals in my shooting gallery, and now trash on the mini golf course. What is going on around here? All clear. Let's hit it. There's the roller coaster. Man's monument to his own boredom. Looks like kind of a jaunt. Well, stealing a cotton candy machine isn't a walk in the park. There will be tons of running involved. Again? Talk about a one-trick pony. No. Let's get rid of them. more destructive idea.
Looks tasty! This thing won't budge. Anybody got a crane? There has to be some kind of switch. Be nice if just once the switch was on the same side of the cliff as us. Now, let's get to the roller coaster. What do you mean you saw an animal on the golf course? Those words could mean just about anything, Sonny my bumps. Oh, Berman. Con son, jiggly fat gelatandrius. Um, duck. Ow! <laughs> you. Uh, oh. Ah! I would have gotten away with brooming them too, if it wasn't for you meddling rolly coasters. Huh. What a maroon. Come on, let's move it. Man, I can't believe how high up we are. If I weren't in charge, I'd be a little worried. 
Really? I thought you climbed trees and electrical wires and satellites all the time. If trees could grow this high, I'm sure they would. It's for their own good we cut them down and make roller coasters out of them. And look, here's the best part. The tracks are electrified. We get to walk and learn about science. Well, I guess we have no choice. Unless you count falling hundreds of feet as a choice. Don't take this wrong, but if you get shocked, I might laugh. <laughs> I was just picturing the face you'll make. Let's hurry up so I can see it. with this one. I don't think that weasel is buying what we're selling. Hmm, yeah, weasels. And he has a shock prod. Interesting. Running sounds good. Shall we?
What do you mean you can't see them? Just look up, you idiot! The, the, your other up! Maybe he means a different set of animals on a different set of his roller coaster tracks. Right there! See? On the tracks! Vermin! Clear as the spittle on the end of my nose, you crumb bug nink of Yeah, he's talking about us. Huh. If you want something right, you have to do it yourself. Get my personal car ready! I'm going up! Let's get off these tracks fast. Go! Go! Where did Curmudgeon go off to? Please don't speculate about the location of our enemies anymore. Right on cue. <laughs> you scallywagon varmints! Just in time for what back in my day we like to call the end! Something tells me it's no longer the 3rd of July. For a guy with such small eyes, his aim's not too shabby. Oh, you vermin think you're smarter than me? Ah! Try this off a size. That last part can't be good. Let me rephrase that. Run! Now's our chance. Grapple over. Work for a cotton candy machine. You should see what I'll do for chocolate bars. Uh, oh, no. Voila! Gasunite! Ozzy, what are you doing here? The sniffer, that evil human. He has Heather. For all I know, he already has one of those metal things on her sweet, innocent head. Or worse. Come on, worse than getting a cap slammed on your head? Wham! Then you're under his control, you walk around like this! Then you attack your own father and you get captured! What? 
We'll get Heather back, safe and sound. I'm all for rescuing and revenge and all, but how we gonna find him? There's one person who definitely knows how to find the sniffer. Yep, no choice. Gotta get Heather back. <sighs> all right, we're going back to Gladys's house. Well, all, the stakes have never been higher. Mmm, steak. We're looking for Gladys's PDA, which is a human gadget that holds addresses they never visit and phone numbers they never call. So far ahead of us, in so many ways. Gladys's new house is in the new part of the suburbs, so we're going through some construction. Hooray! Dirt! Uh, right. Dirt. Lots of dirt, hamster. And if you're a good squirrel, maybe even some rust. Now, here's the thing. We have to go through these two yards, then through this house and up to the scaffolding. I'm no skunk Floyd Wright, but that don't exactly look at all safe. It can hold three or four good-sized human men, so you should be fine. Vern, on the other hand... Hey, enough with the fat jokes. I can't help it if my shell is heavy, and, and technically, it's muscle. Right, that's all shell. Whatever you say, buddy. Anywho, we'll drop right down into Gladys' yard, pop into the back door, and hope I figure out what happens next before then. The perfect plan to fill the perfect log. So easy, even Hammy could do it. Huh? Let's go! Okay, so just to make sure I understand. They tear out a natural stream, then make a new hole for a new stream. Duh! Then get rid of all the trees, yank out all the grass and soil so they can put in astroturf and brick. Then they have their teeth pulled out and have new false ones hammered in? A and they're higher on the food chain because why again? How come we don't do that? Huh, weird. Inside, the whole place is crawling with gophers. In fact, crawling's putting a bright face on it. Now upstairs and out the window. The roofs are probably our best and most scenic bet at this point. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, you can see the whole world from up here. See, I told you it was flat. I guess this beats crawling around a sewer tunnel, though I guess we could fall down into one. are nothing to a squirrel. That's how nearsighted we are. It's awesome. We gave the place there a real once over earlier, and I'd say it looks pretty safe down there. Borderline real good then. You clear our visit with that nice lady who always tries to electrocute us? Oh, her. She's out in front. You should be all right in the backyard. It's a whole few feet away in plain view then. I shouldn't have asked for anything more. Swell. I predict that thing's not here to make our lives easier. Oh, it just wants a friend. Maybe if we can get it near those propane tanks, we can blow up more than just us. friend forgive me for you losing hey take a piece so we can show heather now where let's hit the front yard instead see what attacks us there how much worse can the crazy lady be than a giant robot what delightful headaches are we in for this time ozzy good news everyone lou managed to get a peek inside the van the device is on the seat. The key for the back of the truck is by the door. Get the key, get into the truck, get to the cab, get out. You might want to alphabetize those tasks to better keep them straight. Noted. And Ozzy will get her back. Turtle's honor.
Jeez, I haven't seen this many boxes since Hammy blew up that box factory from St. Patrick's Day. Let's try and find an exit out the other side. That'll spice things up. Hey, look! It's a sweet little squeaker here to give us a helping paw. Yay! All we have to do is... You! I thought I smelled vermin. That's my PDA! You thieves! Eep! Uncle! I've been preparing for this moment. All right, hairballs. It's go time. You want a little of this? <laughs> Woohoo! No turtle goes faster than Gladys Sharp! Ozzy, maybe you should let me drive. Everyone, this is your captain speaking. Please remain calm and in your seats until the car has come to a complete crash and explode. Yay! Explosion!
fucking on couch. Violation of all mourners. So. Tastes like blackberry. Vincent, wait till you hear. Defend the law. I'll take point. Stay back, mortals. This will be a bare thing. Let's help him. Come on.
Milton, what's the last thing you remember? I remember Firm Tech, where the humans made the shiny hats. <laughs> you didn't happen to see a little she possum while you were there, did you? Yeah, called herself Heather. That evil human has my daughter. Let's get to Firm Tech, rescue Heather, and shut that place down once and for all. What do y'all say we name this hedge? Now how about Linda? How about Impassable? Guys, please. How many times do I have to remind you? You're with the raccoon. Ta-da! Look out! Relax, Stella. Statues are nothing to be afraid of. RJ, stand by that pile of leaves. Now you're thinking like a raccoon. Hey, Marble Breath, over here! You mean we actually had a plan that worked? Don't question good fortune. Just run! Well, guys, this is it. Okay, all we have to do is break in there, save Heather, and get out without dying. And avoid getting picked off by rats, if possible. I don't want to hurt you, little marsupialis. I just have a nice hat for your head! Help me! Help! Ha! You think you're the first possum to try and get on this elevator? Guess again.
flip those switches quick before... Look out! all those traps to try and catch us. Guess I expected a little more chrome.
Hmm, so this is what they call an elevator, huh? I don't know, but look at all these buttons. Should I hit one at random? This might go sour in a hurry. Can't see how things could get much worse.
Someplace new, i.e., better. What a helpful room that was. Follow me. They gotta be down this corridor. Don't even think about playing possum with me, honey. I'm undefeated. What are you afraid of, little vermlet? It doesn't hurt a bit to have your scalp pierced by sharp steel electrodes. Watch. There they are. Wait for the right moment. There you are. Just hold still. Presto. The perfect weapon. A wrench. We just need to destroy all of those what the humans call machines. I like it. Then what? Uh, hope for the best? You! And you? This is almost too good to be true. Say your prayers, Roadkill. Sometimes I wish I didn't understand human speech.
Destroy them all! Oh. Kill the DNA for anything that oh. from human memory forever! that thing over his head. Hooray for that famous hedgehog who discovered gravity last week. No, not the capping controller. Any controller but that. I see you. No vermin's ever made it out of VermTech alive without me seeing them. Doesn't that guy ever give up? <laughs> He's not here now, so probably. Look, I want to chat as much as you do, but we gotta get out of here before this whole place blows. So many stars, so many planets, so much fur. The horror. The horror. RJ? Please, it was on the way. Whoa! This is 
is it over yet? I've had my cheeks singed by bigger animals than you'll ever be. Come on, we have to get after them. Call in the SWAT team. Naturally, Vern was against the whole idea. As usual, RJ's plan consisted of, let's just go wherever the danger is and hope for the best. Plus, I ate some cheese fries this one time. Enough sitting around. Who wants to dance with a skunk? Oh, my little striped passion flower. I believe this next dance is mine. See, told you there. All she needed was a good fella. Close enough, eh? I can't thank you enough for saving her. You are my heroes. Uh, you would have done it for us. No, but I would now. Well, it's getting to be about that time. Ugh. Yep. First day of winter tomorrow. Yep. Hey. You know, we only have 38 bags of nachos. Yep. Gonna be a long winter. A leap year and all. What are you trying to say? I'll get the wagon. Way ahead of you. 